President Trump's announced that transgender people will not be allowed to serve in the U.S. Army. He cited the tremendous medical costs as one reason behind the move. Next, and Caleb Mopin takes a look at how the Pentagon spends taxpayers' money. Donald Trump recently announced that transgender people will not be able to serve in the U.S. Armed Forces in any capacity. He says this is being done in order to save money. Now, the decision has been widely regarded as controversial by some Americans. We decided to ask people here in New York City what they thought was a good way for the Pentagon to save money. And for comparison, we have a few examples of how the Pentagon spends its cash. The military spends roughly $41.6 million each year on Viagra. Number two, $1 million dollars uh, on strip clubs, casinos, by personnel misusing their government credit cards. Number three, uniform in Afghanistan that does not match the landscape of the country. And the last one, uh, $283,500 spent by the Defense Department on bird watching. Which one do you think is true? The uh, strip clubs. Viagra. I'm going to go with the bird watching. Uh, I'm going to go with four and two. Let me guess, they're all true, aren't they? All of them are true. Really? Wow. Shocked. That's why I was, when you said true, I was like, they all sound true to me. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Viagra, like, come on. The Viagra one's scary. Doesn't surprise me, but a little scary. 41.6. No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it sounds pretty wasteful. I'm sure they could use that money a little bit better towards other things like fighting wars. Make use of the money. Don't use the money just because it's there. It's wasteful. It's absolutely disgusting. I think they should be held accountable. How do you feel about the decision to cut spending uh, by banning transgender people while spending on these projects? It's ridiculous. This whole thing is absolutely ridiculous. But as usual, what, do you, what can you expect? 